Hello there, my name is Vladimir. And in this video, we're going to compare Adobe Firefly AI inside the Photoshop versus Stable Diffusion plugin. So right here, you can see we have it plugin. First, let's go ahead and install it. Plugin in our system. I'm going to use Automatic 1111, and you can see right here we have it our standard interface. First, what I want to do is going inside the extensions, go on available, preload, and we can go and search for after Photoshop stable infusion. So right there, notice mine already set is installed. So yours, if it says just install, click on this and install. You would need to require to restart the server after this. But before you restart server, let's go inside the settings here. And in the settings, we're going down to API under system. And be sure this is checked in. It says allowed HTTP and HTTPS URLs for input image in API. So we want to do this next. We want to go with your batch file, where is your web UI user batch file located. Open for edit, and inside this file on your command argument line, we want to be sure we have it dash dash API. This is will allow the external applications to connect it to your local server and execute the command. So it's it's gonna generate it. Okay, after all of this done, we want to restart our server. By the way, if you like to install directly from GitHub, right here I will provide link down below for you so you can go ahead and check um, this plugin for Adobe, for the Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. Okay, now when we're done and started, when you, you need also relaunch your Photoshop if it was already open and then inside the plugins, you should have it stability art and you just click enable and there you will have this windows open for you so that way you can go and modify as you open windows first you'll notice you will have it empty in an end point so this is where you need to connect to your server your server must run at this time what i mean in running it's need to be all ready and usually if you see this path pop up, it's meaning your server is ready. You can just go ahead and copy location of this. Next, after you finish, paste inside. And if everything is fine, you'll notice right here, you will have it, your model pop up, currently model which you are using. In my case, I use a deliberate. Below, it's very familiar to other things. You'll have a prompt, negative prompt. If you have it, any styles, you can expand and look on some of the styles available for you. Seed, using which sampling method available, how many steps, CFG scale, and also you have it mode image to image, uh, text to image, image to image, or in painting. And as well below, you have it some advanced settings if you want to upscale, downscale image. So we kind of leave it this alone for now. And, and of course, selection of generated images down below. Right here, you'll notice it's set in advanced mode as four images, number of image created, and so it's created for more, four images. If you want more or less, you can modify in the advanced window. So this is about stable diffusion. Photoshop have their own Firefly AI available, and usually you can see on a bottom pop-up menu, by default, it will happen, and you can, um, work with this by selecting areas. If you select specific area, you can see generate a field pop up. It's usually happen when you select any area by marquee tool. Let's go ahead and experiment first. First, what I want to do, let's go ahead, create just simple image right here. You can see we have um, 512 by 512 created, and I'm going to select all cube with marquee tool in inside stable diffusion on the model we go ahead and tropical island so we'll go try to do this no negative prompt we'll just leave it everything as default i will use its sampling method dpm plus plus gm cars this is what I kind of recommend to work with deliberate and as well we'll have it steps let's go actually steps put it to 35 i want just a little bit faster 
and save G scales about 6.5. Well, if some reason I cannot select, I can select only 67. I will leave it as a seven. It's text to image and we need click generate. You'll notice as you click generate right there in your server, you can preview it, send information that it's generating and it should send us back. Here we have it, our islands. And then not bad. And of course, depend on the model, what you're using, you will have a different result. So let's go try same. We select here, we click generate a field. And we'll just do same tropical island, click generate. The first things what you notice is different. It is accessing outside the server. Keep this in mind. You need to have an internet connections because it does not generate it on your machine. It will generate some way and send back and forth. So you, this is not local installation and stable diffusion. What you're using, it is local installation. There is a huge difference. One is you required or not. Right here, you'll notice we had three images, not four. And it's a generate almost like a photo. It's a very good resolution done. Very, very nice. Okay. It seems like Photoshop. There's another string is in Photoshop. Let's go to this image. And right here you can see 66. So this is 4K images. It's a huge, it's large image. Okay. If I try to do with stable diffusion, I won't do here, but I did experiment before. And it's just stuck and I have a 24 gigabyte video card. It's a run on um, RTX 3090 with 24 gigabyte RAM. So it's quite a bit. But when I try to run from stable diffusion, it just stop and it's take forever and ever. So let's try how well Photoshop perform with the 4K resolution. So we'll go and we'll try it tropical island as well. Notice it's again, sending and generating. So it's actually sent to the servers and coming back because if we monitor activity on my computer, okay, right there, we can go ahead and launch. Let's go on performance and we can see on GPU, it is preloading some, but it is uh, utilizing memory because I run stable diffusion server right now, but generally you can see it's already done and it did not utilize. So it's created these images. Okay. Notice as I'm going through images, it's a little bit rotating. So it's meaning it's kind of getting this from server. It's not bad. It's actually generated those images. Very good to use if you need it. And of course we can zoom in. This is maximum kind of resolution. Not bad. Actually, it's quite a bit fast for 4k. And uh, if you have a stable diffusion local installation and you have an eight gigabyte RAM card, you cannot run this. So it's you just need to do something. Um, and of course, you can run SDXL model, which provide a little bit better quality. So this is, seems like Photoshop winning. OK, let's look on another things. What I think Photoshop is winning quite a bit right here. We have an image. And when you're retouching for me personally, for example, person, Notice I can go select those person. I, 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 let me select them properly. I just got the shoulder. So we go like this. I don't need to specify anything. I can say generate a field and just click generate. And what is happening? It's analyze all picture, all image. And based on this image, it will remove. So by default, it will acting as a remove background in this case. Okay. Let's see what's happening. And you can see. Look on this, how beautifully it's actually removed. Okay. Notice very nicely done. Yes. Don't specify anything. Remove it. And nice things again, I can go on the top again, just select this crowd generative and it will actually read from all of them. So it is work beautiful on a stackable and everything. This is very Firefly is super powerful in this case. You can do this. And it seems like it's winning so far. And tell you the truth, it does. It's it's look very much great tool to do this. Um, let's try same things to do. So I'm going to disable those layers. We go down below. And I'm just going to copy this layer so it will be unlocked just in case. And we're going to select 
Uh, okay, you know, I should get a better selection faster. Okay, there you go. Leave it better. Okay, we go select this person right here. We need it actually right. And problem is, what do we want to write? We want interrogate image first. But I will just say, um, concrete ground building something like this i don't we'll see because you need kind of specify and i don't know how to properly say about that one and we're going to use in painting well yes 35 cg so we'll leave it everything included the noise maybe actually should be about 80 maybe 0.8 uh, let's look on our same we just leave it as everything default right here and let's go ahead and click generating notice right here it is generating 18 24 30 from my experiment from here in painting did not perform very well at all it's actually give me a kind of like almost a blur effect here well we'll see what's happening and right there is our server and look right there oh we have an error it says X and Y must be number so it is some issue pop up on this well sometimes it's happening when it's a little bit too large well let's do something smaller let's go right here her eyes right there and let's go just say sunglasses just something smaller in painting let's go interrupt this and we'll go click generate okay preview right here and you can see it was generating with a mask in painting so it's a start and of course i run a detailer that one is disabled currently so we just run only stable diffusion but you can see the benefits with a stable diffusion you can add additional stylizations you can add some other stuff but this is what usually happens. It's blur like this. So it's not necessarily sunglasses. And give you as example, if I do same things here, and I say sunglasses in this case, and let's generate, see how the Photoshop will pick up. Photoshop does much better job in this case. So when we're rendering so far, firefly definitely winning but we'll have it one issue and look at this there you go there's sunglasses we just put it sunglasses with firefly okay um yeah it seems like it's winning everything biggest withdraw with firefly it's limitations on what it can use it because you cannot render everything it is going out and they have a lot of restrictions um for example nsfw those you cannot render them you cannot render some right copyright like for example if i go here and i'm saying let's just disable all of this we'll go in the beginning i'm going to select this and generate and i'm going like um Sponge Bob dancing. Uh, just just let's go and we'll go generate this. What is happening? It's sent to generate, but in many cases it's come back and says, "Hey, this is copyrighted content or restricted." Well, actually, it's created this time. Other time it was giving, but look, it does not. Well, it does not look like SpongeBob in the first case. But it sometimes come back and tell me before it's going in validation of the um our service whatever so we cannot create this image same things if you do like with chat gpt or other things they're going and it says hey you cannot do this because you have those restrictions and if we done same for example inside the stable diffusion you don't have it, any of those restrictions so for example we have a spongebob here and other ones you saw spongebob does not look like original spongebob so what do here let's go to text to image generate and click generate and here we have it our results so definitely it's look a little bit more like a spongebob 
again, because it's what is the training, if it's training specifically on some images that will display it, but uh, Photoshop Firefly does not let to do some of the stuff. Overall, which one is winning? I will say if you're a photographer and you're retouching what I like to do, Firefly is hands down the better than stable diffusion. But it is require active internet connections for this to work. So if you don't have connections or other things, you cannot utilize some of this tool. Stable diffusion on your local machine, it is your personal private server it's whatever your model is using whatever you doing it's there photoshop you suck and easy generate 4k content very easy with this you will require or create smaller and use the upscale or other elements so overall uh, i will say for me for digital firefly better but stable diffusion have it there on the roll so what what do you think what is for you what what do you prefer do you prefer firefly or stable diffusion have you experiment with them let me know thank you enjoy the um, video subscribe if you like it and have a great day